Today, Pfizer Rare Disease is working on new transformative approaches to treat genetic diseases. Our genes play an essential role in determining the function of each cell in the body and are made up of 30 million codes of DNA. If even one of these codes is damaged, a genetic alteration may occur causing genetic diseases, some of which can be debilitating and life-threatening. Pfizer researchers are working to target the underlying causes of certain genetic diseases by focusing on highly specialized, potentially one-time gene therapies using AAV vectors. This type of in vivo gene therapy has the potential to directly target cells with consistent treatment. It is a technology that can be standardized, streamlining the manufacturing and regulatory path to medicine approval. Vectors are modeled after AAV, or adeno-associated virus, in which most of the viral genes are removed and replaced with a functioning therapeutic gene. AAV vectors are custom-made empty capsules used to potentially deliver treatment directly to the targeted cells through an infusion into the body. Gene therapy is designed to target specific organs, such as the liver. Other organs are also being studied as potential gene therapy targets. When the vector reaches its target cell, the functioning gene is transferred and used as a blueprint to create the missing or non-functioning protein. The goal is to restore normal function in affected tissues or cells. This could potentially enable a patient to manage his or her disease without the need for ongoing treatments. While the potential of gene therapy is exciting, there are still many unknowns. Clinical trials are underway to explore the potential of gene therapy, including how to identify patients, effectiveness, safety, and duration of response, and the impact of immune responses. There are more than 7,000 known rare diseases worldwide. Of these, 80% or nearly 6,000 are genetic in origin. As we unlock the potential of using genes as medicine to make a meaningful difference in the lives of patients, it has become clear genetics may not have to determine the future of a person living with rare disease. If successful, imagine the possibilities.